Yep, got him. What is that? <laughs> He's already hooked up. First cast. On our way up here, not knowing how the Vertrix vibes were going to work on striped bass, did a little research into the area and Savio, the captain who we fish with, is a very passionate bucktail fisherman and the technique that he likes to use sounded very similar to how we fish the vibes. So it really sounded like this is going to be a very likely you know, bait to be able to fish up here, that it was going to be effective. Can't wait to fish this lure, it looks exactly like a peanut bunker. I was reading some stories about you online and that you love bucktail fishing yes. and I think it's going to be a great fit with the vibe, with the technique, the way that we cast these lures out and even on the initial sink you're ready for a bite. They can eat these lures at any time and once it gets down to the bottom or down to the water column you want to fish, you can crank it with the rod tip held still and then let it sink again or work it with the rod off the bottom. I could see by holding it in my hand yep. that this sinks nicely, comes up nice. It, it should be really interesting. I can't wait to use it. How are you going to bat? Hello. Hello. Got him. My first striper. There we go. I'll never be able to do that I again, Savio. I can't yeah. catch my first one again. No, now you're done. <laughs> so these are the first fish ever caught on, first stripers caught on vibe. This is, we've caught, we've caught uh, quite a lot of fish down in Florida on vibes. This is the first time trying them on the northeast. And this is, what have we been fishing? Just a few minutes. Just started. Just started. And look at and that. This is my first cast with it. Unreal. method of fishing this this bait, why it's so effective, is being able to fish it in different water columns and depths. You can fish in as shallow as two feet of water, or out here we were in 15 to 60 feet of water, and we can get the bait down where we're marking the fish. The bigger fish that are underneath the blitzing schools, the smaller fish were generally up on top, and we're looking for bigger fish down deeper, so we could get that bait down deep and work it close to the bottom. I'm blown away how many bluefish we caught between 14 and 18 pounds on one bait and it was still intact, still fishing, and ended up being the lure that I caught my biggest striped bass on. It was a good thump on the yeah, drop. Yeah. Really good eat on the drop. Yeah, they don't, they, bass don't spaz like bluefish do. Have a go at that thing! Holy crow! There you go. <laughs> Have a go with that thing! Oh, That's good. Good. <laughs> there you go. Yes! Yeah, baby! Nice. Have a go with the head on that thing! Woo! He's a beast <laughs> of a striped bass. This is my first time striped bass fishing. These Nomad Vertrex vibes. This is the first time we've really tried fishing up in this area. Use them a little bit in the night time in the bridges, Chris has. But this is the first time up here. That is a beast of a fish. I guess you got an albie. Yeah, these false albacore in the northeast get very, very fussy. They're eating small bait and you need to match the hatch. This Nomad Vertrex Max 75 is the bait for the job. It's very small profile, natural presentation. And this albie just, just drilled it. We came here looking for striped bass and turned out that just about everything here eats them. Soft vibes have been a thing in Australia for quite some time now. These lures are new to the USA. We've just proven that they can catch trophy fish all the way from Florida to Montauk and everywhere in between. There's no limit to what these lures can catch.